And we're live. <laughs> but I'm dead. This is a show where we talk about all the things that we want to talk about. So yesterday, mm. Haley's made, Haley made dinner because she had the day off. So she made like a nice like... Um, uh, as she sl- should. Slow cooker. Yep, as she a nice. Okay. Well, say what you want. <laughs> she made a nice uh, like... She, I think she put. She made. She made some bison. She made a couple. Some bison. We had some bison. Let's she, go. Yeah, it was nice because we. It was like, like we'll do this. 50, literally, like, we'll find like stuff that's kind of fifty percent off and freeze it. Right. Oh yeah. At Lava's, they do this thing. If it's like expiring the next day, you just take a. It's it's fifty percent off, and you just, we just. If it's meat, we just throw it in the freezer you and make it. Never had it before. Bison. Yeah. It's very lean. It's one of those things where it's like I've had plenty of opportunities, and it's one of those things where you can easily taste. I mean, not taste, but yeah. easily eat. Yeah, yeah. You but I've just never it. done. It. I've just been like, eh, I'll just get us something else. State beef is better for sure. You think it tastes better? Yes, because bison is a lot leaner. So okay. if you don't, if you grill, if you do grill it without like really, we gotta put some bacon fat in that. When you're, when do you're, something when you're, with when you're it. Making it the patties yeah. or what? I'm yeah. Thinking, oh, burgers is the first thing I thought. No, of. no, no. Yeah, but like you have like actual. Um, like was it was it ground bison or was no, it no no like 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 bison oh, steaks? Fuck, you got steaks. Yeah, okay, so like if okay. you, I made it once before, but it's really dry. So she was like, I'm gonna wait for a day that she has because she had like a, a day off every like th- three weeks or something like that. It's like some condensed, I don't know, work week type thing. Anyways, she was like, I'm gonna wait till they a day where I can put it in the slow cooker and like you know make a thing out of it. And she she made it the other day, and the slow cooker makes everything really really tender. So. It was like she. It, so yeah, like, it, it's like the per, so it's, like, it's like the perfect way to make bison. I think at least. But she made a couple other things. She made, she made some like ribs and then some like kebabs or whatever. So just like but one, you had a fucking feast. But it was like for dinner for like the next night as well. She made like she just got we got ahead of the schedule. Yeah. But um, so I was like so oh and she made, made a salad right but it was a Greek salad like tomato cucumber and she wanted bocconcinis to put in it she didn't, we didn't have any I was like it's oh. kind of disrespectful right off the top of my head you thought we See, should put that you know what's funny you know what's funny okay no 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 no, no. so wait, wait. I, I said it as a joke I don't really give a fuck okay but I'm not Greek but I know as soon as I, the, your eyes they just lit up like Dude. this guy knows it's got to be feta. Uh, yeah, yeah. See, it's, I do. It's, it's, it's so funny that you say that. And when <laughs> Haley when Haley listens to this, she's going to laugh. Oh, my because God. Because the first thing I did was, you want to do bocconcini? <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> Dude, you know your Greek when. Okay. Did, okay. There's, I was telling her, there's a salad that we make with bocconcini. It's, it's like cherry tomatoes, basil, and, and basil, and then bocconcini. Sounds fucking delicious. Right. A, a, a caprese salad. Yeah. yeah you, or you can make those discs. You know, and get some bigger slices of tomato. Exactly, and yes. One leaf but it's, basil and a slice of thing on it, right? It's basically that, just in, <coughs> in salad form, right? So bocconcinis are good with that. I like, when it's tomatoes and cucumbers, I want feta. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. she's like, okay, I'll just dress it as though we dressed the other one, so it kind of had the taste. So it was good. It was. Okay, it okay. ended up being good, but... Of course it is. It's fucking what? I mean, oil yeah. and vinegar. I was like, I'm not going to make that biggest thing of it, but I'm like, really? That's, that's your first thought? So Anyways. So lame. So um, lame. What me? <laughs> yeah. Buddy, what do you want me to say? That's how you that's <laughs> not being that's a what you have to loser. Oh my god. No, okay. Low key, it's super funny. I can't believe it's funny. I can't believe it. I actually totally believe it. Cause if you're like you're like awkwardly proudly Greek. I've, I am uh, no, 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 but it's not like something you're not um I don't wear it on my sleeve. You're not like uh I don't know if I don't again, I don't have I don't know that many Greek people, yeah. So I don't know how you show national pride as a Greek person, right? Like most people you see, you see Italians, right? Italians, them Italians, yeah. Them Portuguese, them like the way they kind of emphasize like their pro their pro their pride, yeah, for their country. And we all know who they are. Well, there okay. are Greek people like that. I know the types you're talking about. Okay. But like this, um, okay, you said the types, okay? Let's be honest, okay? There's like two kinds, okay? There's the DiGiovanni's, okay? The yeah. regular people, yeah. okay? And then you have the, hey, oh, fucking buddy, you watched the game yeah. last night, oh, fuck, Italy's the best team ever. Yeah. You have the most fucking cups, like, fuck, like those people, yeah. okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, those I know, two yeah. different kinds of people, Yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. You're like, I don't know if most Greek people I'm are like, like... the way MD and Daniel are, like, yeah, kind but of like... here's the thing, though, here's the thing, though. You're more Greek than they're Italian. Oh, I, I know this is, that's going to sound can you, super Can Daniel like, speak any Italian? Zero. Oh. Okay. As many as I know. If I probably know more than he does. Just like just random words. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably if someone like, spoke to him Italian, he would understand no it. No idea. Okay. I, don't th- I don't think so. Because I can, I, can, I can understand Greek more than I can speak it. Yeah, of course. Most people are. Yeah, like, yeah, most yeah. people are like that. But like, they're not, su- they're not super Italian. I don't know. That's, that sounds, I don't know how to, like a better way. That sounds like, like a, I'm a piece of shit. But they're not like, other than, okay, maybe MD's different. 
but I wasn't really close to them. He does wear like inter like jerseys as like casual yeah. casual yeah. wear to support his Italian team. Mm-hmm. Sorry, Italian team. Yeah, I fucking keep saying Italian now, so I'm going ah. Italian. So, yeah, it is yeah, Italian yeah. team. Go on. But like, you know what I mean? They're not like. Fuck it. They're not over the top. That's yeah, what it yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And most Italian people are over the top. Most Portuguese people are over the top. Yeah. You know, I know... Would I say Croats over the top? Not really. Croats are over the top when the situation calls for it. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you'll go to... If it's like... If it's a soccer game, like if Croatia's playing, okay, people go crazy. Yeah. Right? But it's not... If there's a gathering of Croatian people... You won't see them wearing a fucking soccer jersey. Yeah. Unless they're under 10. Croatians. Like 10 years old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like you don't see an adult wearing just a soccer jersey. Right. To an event. You know what I mean? It's like yeah. the event has a specific wear that you, if it's an outdoor event, you can, you can wear nice shorts, like a polo, or if it's a little bit more formal, you can wear like a button up. Also, how my, this is my family was. Different events had different attire mm-hmm. that you had to buy to like okay. Christmas. I can't wear shitty clothes. Well, people just did it out of fun. But if Thanksgiving, you, if you, if you, can't wear shitty clothes. Yeah. Right? I got to wear nice pants. I got to, like, most of the time when we used to, we, we used to go to church, we yeah. used to go straight to my grandparents' house right up at church. So we'd be already in church wear. But even if we didn't, we'd still have to wear shit like that. Yeah. For, like, Christmas, for Easter, for Thanksgiving, shit like that. Mm. Even birthdays, it's like you can't wear track pants unless they're nice, quote unquote, nice track pants. Right. You know what I mean? Are Greeks like that? No, it's like you kind of you just you just know the kind of attire you wear at whatever mm. events. Nobody really enforces anything. I don't think I've ever have ever heard, ever heard anybody. Your mom's never given you shit about what you've worn. She'll like say like place? put something nice on. Like if you go to church, if it's, it's like if it was like midnight mass. Oh, church is a kid. Church is a different story. If you if you don't wear nice clothes to church, yeah, and like, you go like, to like church, I'll wear you're jeans. Crazy. I'll wear jeans. Yeah, like out like but black to, jeans. No, regular jeans. I'll wear fucking yeah blue jeans. Yeah, but if it's like if it's Christmas, I might do like non-jeans but like not dress pants mm-hmm. i don't know like i have like these like i don't know what the material is like like kind of like, like khakis, khakis but yeah. like not that color yeah, like a basic yeah hockey dude yeah khakis with sure. fucking boat shoes right 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 right, right. no not boat shoes <laughs> i have a nice pair of toms do you have a pair of boat shoes no, a pair of like semi-formal toms that i wear anyways me too um so getting back to oh, sorry 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 no, the original thing i was gonna say was do you feel like greeks are more private about their pride no, there are definitely Greeks that are like, hey, yo, I'm Greek. You know what okay, I mean? Why would you sound but the like, same when you said you were Italian? I, but that version of yeah. what Italian sounds like, it's not really, it's not really a stereotypical kind of way. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I mean, at least that I, to my ear, mm-hmm. that Greeks talk when they're like, like the way Woodbridge and Vaughn mm, Italians, Italians talk, talk right? Yeah. So like that version, there are people like that. There are like the, that version of Italian, there are versions would of you say it's like more would you say it's more prevalent more italian it's like more prevalent percentage in italian. wise of people like you think it's like over 50 percent or under 50 percent mm. for italians oh i don't know it's tough to say it depends generate i don't know uh it's less than 50 percent you think less than 50 percent i mean if you're counting all over the top old people and the like it's mostly young people like in our generation okay so people under 60 let's go with that because if you're over or over seventy, I feel like you you're can, slowing down you, either way. You might in more than fifty percent, you can tell that they do something about their mannerisms that makes them clearly Italian. Mm-hmm. But I don't think it's like that, like over the top. Ayo, like the yeah. fucking. You know. Well, obviously, you don't have the energy. Yeah, you're like I've done that for so sixty years. I'm not doing it anymore. If that's the <laughs> if that's the the way we're talking about it, then yeah, there's definitely more than fifty percent. But if there's in Greeks, you would say it's less than fifty. Like yeah, maybe. Well, not really. Like you can kind of just weird i don't know i you honestly greek don't people know people are the, the greek people are just ab- as obnoxious as italian people they can't oh yeah they can't be for sure no i mean like on average because i would say portuguese and yeah, italian are, are up are, are together they're not as bad they're i think greeks are more lovable in my opinion but they can i feel like amongst other greeks okay you know what i mean like there's like a, oh my god such a greek this you know <laughs> like my like me and my dad will make that joke all the time oh, like, dude, i just literally you with the feta you with the book and cheese, right? So just so like funny. That. But so getting back to that, yeah, so say, okay, yeah. so that went off on a Sorry. large tangent. Yeah. But so we didn't have any book and cheese, right? And she really wanted some, and I was like, you know what? Like it would be nice to get a bottle of wine to have with the beef, right? Mm-hmm. So I'm like, like all right, we'll go to Loblaws, and I'm like, Fuck or, I'm, like I'm like, I'll go to Loblaws, right? And she's like, okay, I'll come with you. I'm like, I'm like, oh, like okay, are you gonna take a long time though? Like, you know what I mean? Because because 
because this is what happens all the time. Thing. Inevitably, whenever we go to the grocery store. Okay, well, well, Haley's a woman, dude. But it's it's that because we go to Loblaws, they do that fifty percent off thing. So she'll just take a peruse because she gets an actual high off buying fifty percent off items at the grocery store, right? So often when we go, we'll go for like three, two or three things, come back with like half, like half a load, half Spending a thing of groceries. You well, you no, it's to? like we use it all, and it's of like course, it's like we go product. often smaller numbers, but like more often kind of thing, right? Which is all right because then it says fresh and all that, but because like oh yeah because it was raining out mm -hmm. also and i was like i'll just go she's like no, no no if we go like you can just wait at the front i'll run in and then nobody has to stand in the rain like walk in the rain right like, so i'm like all right so now she's in there by herself yeah trying to get that but stuff. i was like but, but this is what i said i was like i'll Even just longer. go because i know that if you go <laughs> you're gonna take forever. you're gonna take so long and because you like to browse and i'm like you're gonna come back with like six things and we, we, we went out for two Isn't it right crazy how women are just like this okay so <laughs> She ends up. She ends up coming. Like mm -hmm. she ends up coming out of the grocery store. I, I drop. We, we end up going together, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm like, okay, fine. I'll drop you off. She goes in. She's not that long. She's like 15. Yeah, but you know, the whole time she's like, I gotta hurry up. Like Billy's waiting on right. aisle and making. But, but, but my, a long time. I remember what I said. I was like, you're gonna come out with like six things. She comes in the car looking like, you got more than the, the two, didn't you? She's like, yeah. I'm like, let me let me count. She's like, how, are like I'm like, how many uh, how many things did you get? I'm like six. About six. She's, she's like, yeah, I think so. I'm like, do you remember what I said? And I was like, I called you were gonna count get six things. Man. I called it fucking Bill Stradamus over here. <laughs> All right. Oh and my she's god. Like, mm -hmm, yeah, I know. <laughs> Typical. Dude, it's actually so crazy how fucking women are the are have the same tendencies. I know. I mean dudes too. But I mean like the thing that I noticed like with dudes, like dude tendencies is just like being what is it being rude or being like uh unaware like yeah. male tendencies are like not putting the seat down when you pee inconsiderate yeah being inconsiderate but like not but it's I'm not like su i'm super considerate it's though. not malicious it's like just fucking you forget you know you got a lot of things to think about yeah know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Not really. Let's be a lot honest. of guys a lot of things on the mind a lot of guys in the yeah. mind <laughs> a lot of guys things in your mind okay yeah but yeah i think that's fine fucking how women have similar tendencies regardless of how they were yeah raised all right so what's the third thing story number two. Oh, that was just story number oh, one buddy we're getting a bonus one look uh, at that so last night i went i go to bed right mm -hmm. as everybody does they go to bed at night right i go to bed around 11 and then usually you're woken up with an alarm right at night uh this is my no, reference. <laughs> you're usually you're usually woken up by an alarm clock, mm -hmm. which is like loud to yep. get you up, yep. but not overly loud, right? Yeah. So, and usually like, I get up around six, okay. Mm -hmm. And this morning, rather than six, an alarm went off at four o'clock in the morning. Okay, I don't have I don't set a four alarm clock, a four a.m. Okay. alarm clock, right? So it comes out at four. And also it was the fire alarm, not my alarm clock. Holy shit. Yeah. The fucking fire alarm goes off at 4 a.m. this morning. Holy shit. Dude, I was you, not did down. You guys, did you guys have to fucking get Dude, out? It was such a such a tumultuous experience. <laughs> I just imagine everybody just kind of like Dude, limbering out of I'm their like, rooms. What is that? Like I'm like basically half asleep. I'm like, how do you cope with an with a, with an alarm like that? Yeah. Right, like I'm just it's like, what is this? And I'm like, is this the fire alarm? Is this because she has she here she's at home, right, Haley, and she's because she works from home. So I'm like, and, and it'll test it once every once a month. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, is this what it sounds like? She's like, yeah. I'm like, oh my god, are you kidding? Is there an actual fire right now? Look outside, just not a lot, not a lot of panic. This guy's contemplating maybe I We're should like, or shouldn't like, leave. Fire alarm at four <laughs> o'clock in the morning. Like, is it is there an actual fire? <laughs> right, dude. right, dude. Dude, uh, dude, just leave. I know. I understand that. So, like, I mean, we were doing that. I'm like, I'm just, but I'm trying to get my bearings, right? Of course, of course. So I'm like, oh my god, like, what is going on? And I'm like, oh, fuck the cat. Should we take the cat? You have to. Yeah. So I'm like, no, we didn't, <laughs> because we're like, we look, we like looking around. I'm like, yeah, do you smell anything? Like, you know, do you see like any commotion of the people around? Because if there's a fire, I mean, like, there might be people. I don't. Mm -hmm. I, not that it's gonna be a massive fire, like where the whole building's on fire. You assume so. there was no fire. I was like, nothing's really happening. Like, fuck. We'll, we'll just tell the firemen if they're if they're if they go up to rescue people then mm -hmm. we have a cat just so you know and they're gonna be like ah, but the thing is man baxter he doesn't go he doesn't step foot outside ever mm -hmm. like he has once in his life oh no twice when he came up from the pound and once 
when we moved here, mm-hmm. right? And when we moved here, the the task of getting this cat in the crate was brutal. First of all, you, he couldn't go. There was no, he was just like, because he's big, yeah, first he of all, right? Yeah, he fucking sprawled. Well, actually, number one, his crate is in the closet, stacked up under on the bottom of a million things. So we're like, we have to move. It's four o'clock in the morning four at this point, morning, right? Yeah, so we're like, yeah. are we really going to move all this shit, get him his crate, and then spend another 20 minutes trying to get him in there, only to find out that we go back up because nothing happened. Because of course that's what's going to happen. And we're like, this is going to be the worst because he's going to be pissed, like pissed scared for fucking... Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah days, yeah. right? Because we when we moved here, you didn't leave under the bed for I think three three or four days, and then even yeah. then, it took him a while to actually come out to the lot farthest corner from under the bed. That's a good idea, though. You're supposed to do that. Yeah, so that's where he put his food, so he can he can be forced to get as far yeah. back if he needs to. He didn't shit for three days. Lazy. Yeah, he's a little bastard. <laughs> so we're like, fuck that. We go, we go downstairs. So during a fire alarm, you can't take the elevator, right? And of course that's, not. You got to take the stairs. So we took eleven flights. Dude, uh, you're ele- reliving my life twice over this happened to you twice dude this was one of the I'll worst experiences you, I, of my I, I, life dude that wasn't so that sorry bad. i don't want to cut you off by you no, no, go ahead, go ahead. so you ended up there's no fire everybody there was no fire yeah you guys came up in what 10 minutes the whole we were probably back ready to go to bed at about 4 20 4 30 maybe between 4 20 and 4 30 okay. it was literally like 4 a.m i looked at my phone it was like right 4 a.m on the dot i think that's at least that's that's what i remember jeez so yeah twice i think twice yeah twice it's happened to me Really, I was staying at Christine's. Yeah, and she 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 lived in an apartment, mm. and she was on the eleventh floor. And it wasn't at four o'clock in the morning, but on two separate occasions, mm. the fire alarm goes off, and we had to get her cat. And the fire alarm goes off. He goes under the bed. Who, Marvin? No, Boo. Oh, Boo. Okay. He goes under the bed. Yeah. Okay, so if he stayed under the bed. Do you think there was any way I was pulling him out of there? I don't know. Zero. There's no way he would let me get to him. I would have to crawl under the bed yeah. and get him. There's yeah. no way I would get to him. He would fucking run away and then we'd right. have to go whatever. Right. This guy yeah. <laughs> cut a hole in the box spring under the thing and went fucking up and into the box spring. What? Oh, yeah. Oh into my the God. fucking box spring. So I'm like, how the fuck are we getting this guy out? Fire alarm is going off. I don't know if this thing's real or not. I don't know. You Christine's like, fucking freaking out. Yeah. Try to get this fucking cat. And uh, I'm like, fuck it. I go grab that side of the mattress. She goes, what? I go grab that side of the mattress. Yeah. She goes, okay. She grabs the side. I fucking, before she even gets the side, I rip the mattress off the bed. Right? I go, cut in your box spring. She goes, what? Cut in your box spring. Go in my pocket. Pull out my knife. Fucking cut a slit down the center of the box spring. Go down there and grab that bitch. Pull him out. And, and, and then we and uh, we put him in a blanket and we put him in a bin. We walk downstairs in a bin with with him in a bin, holding him so he doesn't fucking jump out of the bin. Right. This is what I found out. So recently we had to take Boo to the vet. So yeah. this is a whole going back to the crate thing. This is how you fucking make sure your cat. You get your fucking cat. Okay. You get a blanket or a towel. Okay. Okay. You throw it on his back. Yeah. And you fucking burrito the shit out of that bitch. So now he's sucked up in this blanket, right? Uh-huh. And you put him head first in the crate. No fucking around, no sprawling. His arms are in tuck like this. True, that's a good. Head way. first into the crate. Yeah. Then you let go. He wiggles outside the blanket. It's got a blanket in there, and he's in the fucking crate. Don't fuck around. The last time I tried to put this fucker in there, his bottom legs didn't go. I'm like, fuck it. I grabbed him underneath his arms. Yeah. Use my fucking pinkies to grab his legs, hook those legs in. Yeah. Grab his legs in and then put him ass first in. Dude, that was a debacle. It took me longer than I thought it would take me. You know what? It's one of those moments where it's like, I thought I had a little bit more, you know, yeah. self worth. Zero. <laughs> Zero. So fair, now, fair. the blanket every fucking time. Recently, we're to go take him again. I'm like, fuck it. I'm like, I'm like, Threw the blanket on him. Dude, worked like a charm. That's smart. Worked like a charm. Dude, literally 30 seconds. I honestly, I think Baxter, though, would have been just, like, still would have been just as traumatized if that happened to him. Like, he basically got kidnapped, like, like bald and gagged. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. he but would you still. Should, you should keep your crate out, though, low key. I know, I know. Maybe, I think now we might actually just have it handy. It's also helped. He, he normalizes it, too. And he'll just go inside. Like I know, Boo doesn't. Like I hope it doesn't inside. become normalized. I don't want to have to hit a fire alarm every fucking. No, 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 no. no. I'm saying him going to go into the crate. 
No, I know, but I'm saying like I'm not gonna just put him in a crate for no reason. No, no, but when you take him to the vet or whatever. We don't take him to the vet. What? He doesn't leave the house. What's, what's gonna happen to him? I mean, you still take him. To, how old is he? It's like twelve. You should never take gone. him to the vet like every fucking four months. Nah, it's fine. As a senior cat? It's fine, dude. Don't worry about yeah. it. Okay. Well, I hope he's he lives t- for a he, long time. He's too much of a pussy, pun completely intended, mm. to be like that injured at any moment or that. Per- yeah, that. but he could have. Like, I know with Boo, like he's eleven. Excuse me. Like every vet up, he goes to the vet. I think three t- three times a year. It's fine, dude. And it's like fucking four hundred dollars. Listen, it for, it wasn't. It's because it Haley's cat. Work. I'm only the. I only. I always say I'm only the stepdad, mm-hmm. right? Because she had him since guy. a puppy, since a puppy, since a kitten. Yeah. And I just like we moved in what a year and a half ago. Yeah. So then I just okay. I mean, I was like the. I was like the the guy that was around the guy. You know. Uh, you know when your mom <laughs> right. So, so I was that guy for a while. I would know. Then I became stepdad. I have a dad. Right? Okay. Not well, not literally, but. Dude, I'm, that's how I feel like with with my with my pets. Yeah, yeah, like, no, I, I know. I'm not a stepdad, I, I, but I also lived with Christine before. Like right. when I was in school, I lived there. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like me and you just always been the dads. pet, me and the cat. I've already known. I'm known for fucking half, more than half his life. Yeah, yeah. I I, thought, I just I I just joke up. I just joke stepdad. around with oh, her. The stepdad was fucking hilarious. Just only because she's a, like a bugs here. So, but um, ultimately, because I'm. I say I always say I'm the stepdad. I say like so. Ultimately, the, the decision for it's what you her. want to do with him is up to him, up to you, right? Yeah. So I say the same thing, Christine. I go, it's your final call. Yeah, yeah. So she, I'm like, should we take him to the? I made the, I've made the like the suggestion before. Should mm-hmm. we take him to the vet? She's like, nah, he's fine. So I leave it up to her. Well, fuck her. She just, I trust her. She's yeah. had, she's had a million cats. Yeah, so but, that's exactly why. Yeah, yeah, she's yeah. like that. And like a couple, like two, two dogs. Yeah, this is exactly why she's like that. She's so, like a farm girl almost. Pardon? It's like a farm girl. Like a city, farm girl? Like a city farm girl, you know? <laughs> farm girl, but a farm girl has dogs, you know? She had two. She had two. Well, one was her mom's, one no, was her family's. No, but I mean, family's. like, a farm girl would have, like, fucking, like, five dogs. Like, their parents would have, not would own dogs and shit uh, like that. Yeah. Well, her dad, her dad, her dad owned a pet store. He yeah. owned, he owned, he owned uh, a pet smart, uh, pet value, pet value. Shit, dude. So, she always had, like, cats that they had there that he would. That's what I mean. Home. Cats are, like, a city farm girl. They have a yep. bunch of cats instead of dogs. Like an actual well, she farm girl would have she dogs. Had three, I think she had three or four total cats and maybe six cats and then like two dogs. She had Crazy. two dogs. Crazy. But so I like, I trust when she says something and she listens to dog podcasts. She's like, she's just, like a, a obsessed I with watch it. a bunch of it on the YouTube. Dogs. Huh? I've been watching a bunch of dog shows, dude. Yeah. For the last like six months. Really? Oh, fuck. Well, because I want I wanted to get a dog, right? So I'm like, mm-hmm. I'm just going to watch videos so I can try to learn as much as I can about the dogs. Yeah. Right? So like, you show me a picture of any fucking well breed and okay maybe not any breed but any large dog breed i could probably tell you what it is i'm not i'm really bad with dog breeds but yeah well that's what i'm doing i'll fucking watch them all the time and tell you how it, like their life expectancy fuck where they come from yeah uh, yeah yeah story number three yeah yeah we're at the cottage uh, last weekend okay right um it's this nice little like it was in i think it was what was it called I forget it was like an hour outside of north bay do you own it no, no, no. Did, did you rent it from somebody? Yeah. Okay, so don't say we went to the cottage. Okay? It's a cottage. The cottage is as if it was yours. It's just or a you're saying. renting it from somebody it's, you know. It's just like a saying you say. It's like when you say, uh, I'm going to the bar. Okay. No. People say that. I know that, but the bar is fine. Uh-huh. The Why? cottage... No, no, the bar is not fine. If no, it's not... If, if you're not to the bar... If you're not a regular at a bar, it's not the bar, it's a bar. Yeah, but if you're telling somebody where you're going, it doesn't matter. You don't to, have to say specifically necessarily no, no. The, the actual place. It's a bar, right? Like it's not when you say the bar, it's the one. It's a significant bar, something a bar of significance, right? If you if if it's not a bar that you go to on a regular basis where you know that it's something that's part I of your guess, life, but I've it's been, not I mean, the. I mean, the bar is also just, kind of is also more of a saying too. I think it's a Canadian. Any place where you go drink. I think it's a Canadian saying. Yeah, because you say the bar, and it's like the pub. It's, what, it's okay, a, it's well, a pub. It was, I've I've been to another cottage twice before. Uh, once I've been to one cottage twice. We rented it two two years in a row. Mm-hmm. Could the, on the second one could I say the cottage? Because if that's like a bar, it has to be the one that you predominantly go to. What if I, what, I what if I've been to or twelve or like, in my whole life, but been to one twice of that twelve? Every other one is just one time. I, <clears throat> I think it would also depend if the person you're talking to. You know what I mean? Like if I knew what you, what you were talking about, yeah, and you said the cottage, and I knew what that meant, then that's okay. But if you say the bar, I wouldn't know that. 
Yeah, but it doesn't matter where I went. Why does it matter if it's a bar or a cottage? Because you're, you're going to the cottage. It's it, it's it's like um. Because when you say the cottage, you're yeah. assuming that I know what you're talking about. But if I say the bar, I'm assuming the same thing. Yeah, but where, the, the location of the cottage is what matters, right? Yeah. Okay, the bar doesn't. Yeah, it does. Not really. What, he's like, come here, come to the bar, come to the cottage. You can, you can, the bar doesn't matter, but the cottage does. No, but if you're already at the cottage, I'd say it would be different as well. I think the going to the bar is more of, is I'll grant it being a saying more I, than going to the cottage. I don't, I, think I don't, it's, I don't say that. Nobody I know says I'm going to, I'm going to the cottage when they're just assuming a place that they're renting out. Like this is the first time they're going or even the second time they're going. Or if you've ever talked to me about it before, if you ever talked to me about it before, then you said the cottage, that's fine. I think I it's because I own a cottage as a kid. So when I talked about the cottage, it's the one place. I, uh, fair. I mean, I think, I, again, I think it works because, because there's a lot of people who have their cottage. So people, a lot of people say, I'm going to the cottage because most people. That's what I mean. So I think what it is. But you're is not that, going to yours. I understand. But I think what it is, is that there's a lot of Canadians that own cottages. So if you talk to people, you say, what are you doing this weekend? They'll mm -hmm. say, I'm going to the cottage. So it's just become like, I think part of it because there's so many cottage owners. I think some people can say it. The saying just. If you I, own I, one, then you fair, say it. Then you can I understand. Say it. Okay. That's what I'm saying. The, as the origin of it. I'm saying it's like. No, no, I get it's it. Like, it's, like, it's like when. Re, uh, I'm just not, what's the, I'm just not what's the accepting name? the saying. Well, then you're just being a little, right. you're just being a little bitch about it. No. And the same thing with the bar. It's just like, it's just something Canadians have always said. I think it's funny because people who live up north, we know a guy from Sudbury and I'll always say, I'm going to camp. Like that's, that's what, that's I'm, weird. I know. I'm going camping. I, no, no. That's what I always think, right? He's like, I'm, no, I'm going, I'm going to the camp. That's what he says. If he's going to a, like the, well, the cottage or a cottage or something, if they're going up to a cottage, like, yeah, but see, that's also wrong. Like it also, that's also, I know, but it's also I, wrong. I understand. I, but I'm saying it's because it's not camping. First of all. Oh, it's even worse. Oh, right. you mean when he says he's going to the so cottage, he's saying I'm going to camp. Like, like the same way we say going to the cottage, the people up north from Sudbury, at least, mm -hmm. right? They say we're going to, or, or sorry, we're going to camp. Like, like to camp. Like I don't know. Like I don't know. It's missing means. a word, either right. out or ing. They're, it's missing the suffix ing. Or yeah. The, no, no. Word we're out. going to camp. Like, like heading back to camp. You know. Yes. So like in it's like that along that line, those lines. So. I'm going to camp. Like that's I'm going mm -hmm. to camp. Not mm -hmm. that's in, also not dumb. in order to. Camp. I, say that's I dumb. know, but it's like I'm saying stuff like that's just become a slang term mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. for going somewhere up north. I to know a that. Place. What I'm saying is what I'm saying is to me, you don't say the cottage. Right, but sayings don't always have to make sense. No, that's, what, that's what I'm saying. For me, you're just being that, petty about it's it. It's just it doesn't sound gr grammatically good. Okay, but you're just being. No, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just making a comment being to what very, you said. Being very no, pedantic right you're now. You're being very sensitive about this cottage that you don't own. Okay, well, I went just to, about this cottage, I, I went to the cottage, a, all right? A. Say what you like, I'll say what Sorry, I like. Sorry, a cottage. All right? I go, I, I went to cottage. How about that? You went to cottage? I went to cottage. You were cottage. I went to cottage. Jeez. I went to cottage. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hi. Uh -oh. We have uh, Haley's home. Sorry to interrupt. Look, she looks all professional. She went to work. Look at those pleated pants. Oh I'm telling him. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and not even one for us, eh? <laughs> They're all empty. They're not. They're empty. They're probably empty. She probably Hi, Haley. How are you? Do you like her place? I do very much so. <laughs> like your place. He was commenting on it. It's like, he's like, he comes in, he's like, oh, you're those people. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, you guys are like, um, you guys are like vibe check, like white he's like, people. You like, he's, he's like, you she's like, he's like, you like vibes, eh? Yeah. And I go, and I go look outside. And I see good vibes. I'm like, ah, oh, like that's fucking right there. The home, the home thing. <laughs> I do dig the uh, the cottage vibe. Yeah. Yeah. So it was exactly what I was going. Yeah. Did you tell him that, or was that I'm, what you picked up on? Like, what? Well, I noticed oh, the antlers. No, no, I, I they're there. The Someone bathroom. Your shower curtain has the trees. Yeah, I'm about it. Yeah. yeah. I, I want that. You in notice my house. he's like, you guys really like antlers, eh? <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, look, the, the plaid on the pillows. Yeah. Oh, hello. Has Baxter been greeting you guys? No, he, he came he out and he smelled me and he scratched scared. his head yeah. and he was like, no. And then he went back in the room. And then he went in the room. Typical guy. He's actually such a big cat. He's really big. He's like, he has a big head. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, he's not a, he's not a, like, when Billy was saying how fat he was, he's like, he's, I'm like well, Baxter's fat. I used to say that sometimes. He's, right? He's, and I'm like, he's, he's, he's not, he's but gained, he's not, he's gained, but he's gained my weight. cat is fatter then, okay, maybe yeah. relatively speaking. What's your cat's name again? Boo. Boo. Oh, Bill. 
Yeah. I didn't know you had any animals. Yeah, I have, uh, I have a cat and a dog. Yeah. And he's not fat? No, he's fat. Boo's fat. <laughs> he's like 14 pounds. Oh, shit. How much is Baxter? Baxter's know. probably more than that. He's probably 17, we don't even, 16. We don't, I, I was telling him we don't take him to the vet. That's crazy. No, we never. That's crazy. So he's Not like, he was, he was, he was, he was, yeah, no, he's 12, right? Who goes? No, he's, he's turning 10 this year. You had, how many cats you had? Six or four? Uh, one. I had so many just because my aunt lived with us too and had cats. So probably in total like 10 cats. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, I could tell you had multiple animals cause you don't take it to the vet. Yeah. She's like, I've already had fucking 10 of these. Like I already know what, yeah, I already know what to look out for. If he's <laughs> acting weird, I, I'll I, take him. I was telling what happened last night. What? The fire alarm. Oh, I forgot about that. You forgot about that? Oh my god! I, I know. I was telling. I was like about it all day. We were like, forgot. We were like, we were like. Wow, grump. Yeah, I did. Mad grump. This morning, I did. No kissy kisses goodbye. You actually did. Yes, I remember very, very vividly. Every time you get in the car. Yeah, on his on his penis. Jesus Christ! That's crazy. I'm telling you about what happened at the cottage this weekend. Sorry. I, yeah, the cottage. In this case, it'd be okay, okay. to say Haley, the cottage. What do you think about this? So it's just. <laughs> I was, he said we went to the cottage, and I said like I said, whoa, 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 stop right there. You cannot say the cottage because you do not own it, and it's not yours. <laughs> I would say you would say we went to a cottage. And he goes, oh man, it's just like a saying, man. Where you say the cottage, I'm like, okay. You say the it's cottage cool too, that right? It's a saying. Mm, I ha- so. She I says would, the, but she agrees with me. I do agree with Paro, if I'm being oh, honest. Thank Only you very much. because I think like when you have your own cottage, it's the cottage. Yes, or life. if I know what you're talking about. And but, it, like, okay, but if we only ever went to one cottage, that's exactly what I said. It, even if it wasn't ours, but if that was like the only one we went to, we could call it the cottage. But it is technically a cottage because we've been to a bunch. So. I was saying yeah. that it's become a saying because so many Canadians own cottages that is true i would say that's a canadian thing that, 100%. that people will say what do you do when people will say what are you doing this weekend they will be like oh, i'm going to the cottage I'm going to the cottage I'm going to the cottage so you to become a, very it's become a say. folk saying you know what that's true yeah. because i know a guy who says it too he says the cottage massimo says going to camp right remember huh? massimo says going to camp like from in sudbury that's what they said remember oh yeah they do call it camp going to that's weird. going to camp yeah, yeah. that's just, that's just yeah. wrong right so i'm like it's that kind of deal right yeah one yeah. of my buddies he says uh going to the cottage even though it's not his he still he'll say i'm going to the cottage yeah or it's like it's like going to the bar like, that's canadian he's a canadian he's a munji cake right well that's what, that's what so it, it makes sense yeah i can see it both ways but i do think if we're being nitpicky about it uh cottage nitpicky thank I'm not, you i'm not thank i'm you. just letting him know what i think Fair That's enough. the whole point of this. Anyways, I'm telling him about what happened at the cottage. Yeah, yeah, weekend. he just started. Oh, okay. This is all this staying in, disaster. right? Yeah. This yeah, this is all staying in, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 100%. Well, <laughs> you want, you want to be in? This was one of your, like... Biggest blunders? Yes, biggest uh, What blunders. else is new? All right, I want to Just one, though. No big deal. So we're at the cottage, right? Okay. And we brought some steaks up, right? There's a, there's a great... Are these the bison steaks you were talking about? No, no, no. This was bison she made last night. The no, last weekend, there's a there's this awesome butcher down the road called Dry Age. It's like all, it's like it a, it's like a like le- legit, legit butcher place. It's like a craft butcher. It's kind of like it's kind of like a it's like a modern. Is style. craft the new word for uh, family it's art, owned? It's artesian, artesian, artesian. Yeah, it is. It is. That's amazing. And uh, so we got picked up some steaks, right? Picked up some strip loin, you know. Just a, a dude, nice classic. It's better cut. than the steaks I buy. Okay. Dude, it was nice. Free uh, grass fed, of course. Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> so so we, we grilled them. We grilled them at the at the at the barbecue the at the cottage. Yeah, yeah. And so we bought had a bottle of wine up, right? Of course, like I, like we saying I was saying before, you, like the, you have to have red wine when it with beef with red with meat. red yeah. meat exactly yeah, right. So we get a bottle of wine. We're just sitting at, and it's it, the the cottage is is a uh, square. It's like basically one room, mm-hmm. bed, kitchen, everything is in it. TV. It's like one room. Little there. cutesy little fucking. It's a cabin, tiny right? cabin. Exactly. It's just a cabin. So it's like it's nice. We, we've been to another place like that. That was the one we we went to twice. Mm-hmm. It's really nice. Anyways, so there's not like anywhere to like to lounge, like sit in a living room couch or something, right? Mm-hmm. So we we're at we're at the little the little table they have, and then we just we were watching Demon Slayer. And we uh, great show, yeah. We're, I think we're on like we've started last weekend. We're almost done, and I think eighteen, nineteen episodes. 
uh, like episode episode it was, be, it was shorter than I thought it was gonna be. Yeah, it's weird. It's like a it's like a limited series. It's not like well, not uh, even that. Like the, the I don't I don't see I don't know, but the show I don't know I don't know how far it is in the manga. I, only, I read it right. There's only 26 episodes in a movie, and that's it's the end of it. Yeah, that's weird. I don't know if they fit it all. If they could fit it all. If they did, then fucking good on them. But it was only like I think if I remember correctly, like 200 chapters or something like that. Roughly 200 chapters. 250. Yeah, maybe they chapters. they fit. Maybe, maybe they. So it wasn't super super long. You know what I mean? It wasn't even close to like a Naruto or something like that. No, no, no. But no, no, no. Naruto was like, what? How, how do you, how do you put it? obnoxiously long yeah th- I mean well first of all there's like it's almost half filler yeah yeah, I yeah, think yeah. 44% filler yeah. okay yeah Naruto so the first part Shippuden yeah, no, no, not so much I think I thought it was uh, so Naruto I, know, I think Shippuden that's the one no the first Naruto has more filler than Naruto Shippuden alright hold on the first Naruto is like I think like 60% filler cause it's all missions right let's have and a look think about, it, think about this just before you pull it up Logic it out. Okay. First Naruto, all the filler are all the side missions that they that they go on. So every side mission, every mission they pretty much go on, other than the main continuity is filler, which is predominantly Naruto. Mm-hmm. Shippuden, the filler is like background stuff. They or the, yeah. side I mean you could also argue like some battle like you know the Great Ninja War? Yeah. Some of those battles don't happen in the manga. Okay. Most of the battles don't happen in the manga. Okay, like, like the side uh, character fights, like with Shino, like with with uh, yeah, those but, those. So, so you're saying, are you saying are, are you saying Shippuden is more filler or less filler? I would say it's less filler than Naruto, but yeah. Shippuden's and on top of that, Naruto Shippuden's filler is just like battle shit. So it's actual like it's good actually that so you yes. want to watch. Yes. And like and background. Yes. And, and backstory. Yeah, background like like Kakashi's like backstory. Kakashi's backstory. Yeah, yeah exactly. That's yeah. one thing. Like um um. Okay, remember those four demons that took Sasuke? In Naruto, the, yeah, the, the four the Demon Ninja Four, or and, whatever. Then the, and then Kiki, Sound Ninja Kiki, Four, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, and then those guys come back. There was a fifth one too, Kikimaru or something like that. Kimimaru was there. Kimimaru, that yeah. guy with the bones. But he was he was separately, right? I thought he, he came, was like he the leader came of after. That. No, no, he came after. He was sick. He escaped. He ran away because they because um they they died. Yeah. So they sent him out at the end. So it was those four Kim Kimimaru are reanimated. Okay. Right. Yeah. And then um. They have the fights with the people who they fought before. So Choji fights, uh, the, oh my god, oh, I'm drawing up Neji, uh, Shikamaru, and um, oh, is that the tuning exams I'm talking about? So, oh wait, what so you, no. When wait. remember when Sasuke gets taken by those? Oh, four they each people. have their own fight. Yes, yeah, yeah, they each yeah. have their own fight, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it, the filler in Shippuden, for example, mm-hmm. is them refighting them mm-hmm. later on. Yeah. So that's technically that's filler because yeah. that doesn't happen. Technically, anything that's not in the written manga. That's what I mean. Yeah. Because the show's following the manga is yeah. filler, quote unquote. Filler, yeah, 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 yeah. But it's not really filler. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Naruto, it's all just side shit, made up enemies, like different clans that don't act, don't, that don't, that never existed, that were just written for the show. Right. Shit like that. So they, they kind of expanded in a way. Kind of, but that's yeah. what that's what filler is, right? Right, it's no, no, non-continuity 100%. stuff that's not actually written by the creator. Right, right. I don't know exactly how much. But yeah, I think Shippuden. Naruto. If I had to guess, if I bet money, Naruto has more filler than Shippuden, just because Naruto only has like three hundred episodes. All right, well, let's look it up. Yes, yeah. because Naruto has like three hundred episodes roughly, and I think at I think at least a hundred is filler. Fuck. All right, let's see what we got here. Uh, there's no percentage. Oh, Filler God. guide and percentage right there. Which one? The second one? The fourth one. This one? Did you look past the no, third? I didn't. You fucking bitch. Naruto Shippuden filler guide percent. This one? Yeah. And percentage. This is Shippuden though. That's fine. We get one. That's why we have one of them out of the other one. Okay? And then we can find the other one after. Okay, you don't have to yell. Don't shake your head at me, cocksucker. You, I don't know, man. Sometimes I wonder. This is gonna go by like arc by arc. Maybe. What the fuck, man? Oh, here. This is the one. Is it the one? It's the same. Don't huff and puff. You're it. such a letdown. I'm a letdown. Fuck you. There you go. Just go from there. Where? Just do some quick maths. You do quick math. Okay, it's far from me, dude. One second. Filler list. So it's like. That's only like. One twenty-eight. No. Canon is one like roughly one twenty eight. Oh, canon, canon. canon is roughly one twenty eight. There's one hundred twenty eight episodes of canon. Yes, and there's two hundred and twenty episodes of filler. 
No, there no, isn't. No, 220 episodes, period. I thought... No, the, this is this is Shippuden, though. Oh, wait, no, no, no this, this is Naruto. Regular. Yeah, 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 you're right, yeah, you're right, you're right. Okay, sorry. Uh, so, so, yeah, what quick, is it? quickly, so it's, like it's like roughly 130. 25%? So, 20, so 130. So, it's like... So, there's 90 it's like 45% filler. filler. 45? Yeah. It's, it's 90. It's yeah. 130 out of 220. Roughly 130 out of 220. No, no. So you have to do the opposite then. So then it's it's, it's you 90. You don't have to. You already have a percentage. But 90, 90 out of out of 220 is the filler percentage. Yes, yeah, so it's like 45. 90, you think? Because 110 is 50. Right? Uh, yeah, maybe about... No, yeah. So rough, roughly 40%. 40%, okay. There you go. 40 now, to 45. Use this website and find Shippuden. Uh, don't, don't command me like that. Yeah, do it. Come on. I'll you're, fucking... you're, the, you're the techie fuck. I'm the math guy, okay? You're the nothing guy. Hey, listen, I'm okay? throwing out percentages. You're the poo guy. I'm throwing out percentages. You're all out right. here fucking still catching all up. All right, all right. Fucking, you know what? Just. Hey, by the way, one plus one is two, okay? One plus one is fuck you. There's right there. <laughs> Where? Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, you want to you wanna have fun with that? This is way harder. Oh my god, we're going to do this? This anime has the highest filler percentage. Shippuden? This anime aired from 2007 to 2017. Naruto Shippuden has a total of 500 episodes. The anime has the highest filler percentage. It got aired after two years of production. Naruto's very loyal and hardworking. He goes beyond his limits. You don't see... If you're going you're gonna to say has the highest percentage and then not tell us the percentage... Let's down. Okay, I'll tell you what to add, okay? Filler episodes, okay. One second. Okay. Okay, one okay. plus uh, 24. Okay. Just do rough numbers. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Plus five, plus four. 190. Divide that by 500. Not even close. Not even just, close. Just divide it by 500. Let's see the percentage. Okay. 26. Mm. See, not even close. I mean, if you ask, the, if you. I mean, if you mixed, do mixed, the mixed might include the like, like the backstory and the fights and shit, you know. But it's mixed. It's it's mixed filler canon, so it's just kind of like, unless like, I mean. It, okay. Either way, even if you add that, even if you add, even if you put half. Right? Let's just say we take half the mixed filler, mm -hmm. right? Because 50%, whatever. It's still yeah. going to be like, what? I don't know. We can, well, I'm not going to go through that again. That was That's part what I mean. of my brain. Like, it's still, it's, I'd, still, I'd say it's close. Closer than I would assume. Mm -hmm. But just straight filler, not even close. Right? Yeah. Because oh, Naruto was so like, man, it was also just shit filler too, man. Fuck, I'm never watching it again. Never. Never watching filler again, Naruto. Yeah, that 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 arc, that twenty episode arc that goes on when he's trying to get to that island to train with B, Killer B. Oh my God, the one where they're at sea and the and worst Lee's one is, is the fucking crystal user. I skip that arc. Every that one's time. okay. I don't mind that one. That, that, one, that, that one's got some bitch. The dude, that, the, 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 oh my God, I hate, that's my I that I hate that. He's like the six hills uh, Jinchuriki. Oh my God, that one shit. And then I think the worst one is, is the guy, guy, the guy with the with like the remnants of the nine tails chakra in him his hands all gross that guy that guy's a cocksucker to naruto okay. eh hundo p he is and such two, a cocksucker also one of the worst arcs in the show yeah that one and the Utakata one yeah that one terrible those are awful yeah. yeah oh my god i can't believe that but the backstories are all are all sick i love watching those Dude, this podcast all over the place yeah anyways let's get back to the story yeah yeah so we're at the cottage <laughs> okay Fuck. we grilled steaks we had wine in the little cottage in the square that's also a living room and bedroom and kitchen mm. right so we finished dinner we finished like i done finished a bottle of wine i have like one glass left i'm just kind of sipping on it so we put on demon slayer mm -hmm. we just we just kind of lie like just kind of sit in bed like just upright kind of deal right so i'm sitting there and i'm like you know you're starting to, starting to fall asleep mm -hmm. right like you're just kind of drifting off and you know something there's usually when you do that you can usually like be like oh, okay okay i'm back i'm back like you can like wake yeah, yourself yeah. up it was one of those ones where and for some reason, man, whenever I drink red wine, it's like a sleeping potion. It's like it's like one of your D and D characters rolled a fifty Let's or go. something, and then 
Roll cast me a spell. Holy shit, you're dead. A spell major. <clears throat> That's fucking hilarious. You know? So it's one of those so I just I'm going and, and I don't and I don't catch myself, so I just fall asleep, right? Glass in hand. Right? So it's like, like a probably basic like, white bitch. Right. So it's like one o'clock in the morning, maybe about, and I go, Psh. Oh and I just spill that glass everywhere. Dude, I wake oh up. Oh my god! Red wine, on a, in a bed. Oh yeah. my god! <laughs> you didn't think I was? I thought you knew where I was going with that. No, dude, it was awful. I like, I spilt it. I got. Did a, you buy the guy a new mattress? So just move on. Jesus. We. we <laughs> I wake up Haley because it kind of splashes her in the face because she's kind of lying like down like with her head like, near me. Yeah. And it goes kind of on her forehead and like wakes up. She's like, "What happened?" And I'm like. I just spilled the wine and I'm like, I'm like shocked that this actually just happened. Right. So she gets up and like looking at it. It's like, it's on the, it's on the sheet. It's on the fucking, your self worth is at zero, everything blanket, like comforter. So we're like, okay, all right, what's, what's the move right now? And she, and then he's like, we'll just have to clean it. Right. So take everything off the bed. We fucking, my mom taught me this trick to get stains. I don't know. She, you like put a piece of some soap in it and you just rub the sheet together. Yeah. Like whatever cloth, like together, like yeah, yeah. against you run the rub the stain against the stain, basically. Mm-hmm. And so I did that, and like I mean, well, Haley did it too, and she, it like it pretty much came out. We'd like hung because there's these like, these big pillars that go across the roof to support it. Like so, we just kind of draped all the stuff over top of it to let it dry. Mm-hmm. I was wearing my bathing suit, so I was kind of lucky there. Yeah. So I just got my That's my disgusting. the inner lining. You're wearing your bathing suit in your bed. Yeah, I didn't go. I didn't. I didn't go swimming. Man, I just. I just <laughs> wore it. I just wore it. Like I that's just. That's so weird. Well, because we went. We were sitting on the dock, so oh, I like. I just weird. put it on in case, like whatever. I'm on the dock. Well, I might yeah. just put a bathing suit on, just in case. Maybe I do want to jump in. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe I fall in, which I did actually. Oh, that's fucking funny. I'll, I'll tell you after. I'll be. I'll be sorry. Three. Sorry. Three point oh. Three point one. <laughs> we're getting two bonus stories. Yeah. And one. three tangents. <laughs> oh my god, so many tangents. Anyways, <laughs> so we're getting. We're, just follow we're, us, boys. Just follow us. We we fucking. Drape everything over, drying, and we're like, oh my god. And like, a little bit god, she has like this little stuffed animal thing that she likes to sleep with sometimes. It's called, its name it's is, lame. it's name, it's a snow leopard, and its name is Snow Leopard. Super lame? Yeah. Super, super lame? <laughs> it's cute. It's very cuddly. No I, cuddle, I cuddle with it too. Super lame. Um, So it got on him, and he's white, he's a snow leopard, right? So he got, got on him, so we just doing it, and it, luckily everything came out. So like we washed it, Yeesh. we got it in time while it was still wet, so it didn't set. We did it like right away, right? So we're out there. I'm like scrubbing out in the back, like outside, like the, the blanket. She's doing. We're just kind of going at it, and this entire the entire time, I'm like, like I I I literally asked myself, it was the weirdest thing. Like I was I was like, is this a dream? Like am I dreaming ah. right now? Like I swear to God, I I, I actually asked asked myself because that just look for me. If you ever think you're dreaming, you look for me. If I'm there, it's a dream. Okay, yeah, funny, haha. <laughs> so <laughs> disgusting. Anyways. Okay, wow. <laughs> So, so, but it's like, you know, cause you know, when you, you hey, know, when can you, you take it off this, oh yeah, true. Fuck. So, you know, when you like, um, it's a nice picture though. So, you know, you know, when you dream and then like something really shitty happens and you're like, like something that like, it's not the, like, not like you don't die. You didn't like whatever. You just like something really crappy happened to you mm-hmm. and you wake up and you're like, oh my God, thank God that's not real. Oh my I'm God. I'm so yeah. happy that 100%. it wasn't real. Because I was like, this is something that would have happened in a dream of mine, where I wake up and I'm like, think. Except oh my you God. would try scrubbing it, and we'd just be getting bigger, something and right. bigger, sure. And bigger. Yeah. But I'm like, so that that I the idea of having because like it's having to deal with it because it's possible to get it out. That's not the problem. It's the having to deal with it, right? Yeah. So we did it. It was like for at least three times I must have asked myself this question: like, dude, am I dreaming right now? No, I know what reality feels like. This is obviously dude. reality. But yeah, dude, it was it was so shit. It was, it was awful, just awful. Sheesh. That's just terrible. awful. Yeah. Anyways, but yeah, got through it, and nothing. Like there was a little tiny mark on the mattress that was still there, I think, and on this like blanket. But it was like a, it was like a peach pink blanket, so it kind of the stain kind of went with it. You know, it, it made it better. Good anything. Thinking. So that was fine. But yeah, made it through, and that was. So I've had two very disturbing midnight disturbances. You know what? So. I was like that before too. What? Just you know, two nights in a row, a couple of days in a row, just really shitty things. And so you know what I did? I just got better. Okay. So if you want my advice, get good kid. If if okay. this is you better, I'm so glad I didn't know you at before that point. Oh, uh, trust me. 
because that seems like a complete nightmare. Listen, I am low key, high key, high key, low the best. Key. Okay. Okay. So where's your, what's your uh, story three B? So I was we were sitting on the dock of the cottage, and see now it's okay because I know what you're talking about. Okay, yeah, I guess okay. either way, but it was ne- it never was a cottage. It was always the cottage, so you understand what I'm not saying. To, not and now to me. it makes sense, right? Not to me. Okay, well, either way. Um, so it was kind of windy. It was beautiful, beautiful days, but it was kind of it was a, it was on the because over the lake it's a little windy, right? Yeah. So, um, Haley like Haley was lying on the dock with her towel, and she left her towel there, came sit, to sit in the chair, and then the wind just blew her towel into the fucking the lake. lake. Yeah. <laughs> So we got, we, I was like, it was like just far enough where like we, we had a kayak paddle and it was like kind of slowly sinking. It was like, like yeah, so was slow. Wet and it was- so I'm like, hurry up, grab the paddle. I can't reach it. I can't reach it. So she goes to run, runs and grabs the paddle. It's like still just outside of the paddle reach. So I'm like, fuck, okay. We have these little floaties we were going to set on. And I didn't, I don't, I don't like going in like super cold water unless I'm really, really hot. Right. Of and course. when you're over the lake and in, in like it's blowing wind and it's like you're cold. Like it's like, I'm wearing like. You jump in yet. I'm wearing I'm wearing a t-shirt, so I'm not yeah. I don't have my shirt off or anything, yeah. right? Because it's just kind of chilly. So I'm like I'm not jumping in. It's too cold. It's lake it's late late August at the, in the, Dude, at the lake. It's way too cold. Jump Anyways, in. I did actually. I I I well, I kind of float. I did. I floated on a floaty and I just kind of sat okay. there. But before that, the day before, I think. Um, here's the thing: if you were a real man, like if you were like, you would have just reached it with the paddle. I couldn't have gotten. I didn't. I, reach I, it. You know, you couldn't have reached it. Like it was like so I was I'm saying. Like, I was, if you were not the size of oh, a child. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. You're just going to always go with the low blows. Oh, how's that a low blow? That's hilarious. Dude, I was sitting on that. I'm like, man, should I say it? I'm like, oh, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't. You know, we're, we're having a good time. I, don't, ah, I honestly it. don't think you would have got it because your center of gravity is so high. Oh, you can't reach out as far. That's what it is. See? Now I want to have these giant nuts holding me down. Honey. <laughs> yeah, you need to I, drain them. I just thought of a joke. That's a I'm problem. Like, and then I thought of a joke to the joke. The joke was like, what am I going to fucking pull my nuts down and hook them between the two by fours? Anchor myself down. I'm like, oh, wait, I'm not oh, Lee. <laughs> that would hurt so bad. Yeah, and I'm like, nice. wait, I'm not Lee. <laughs> but anyways, Look. so I'll, all right, I'm, I was like, all right, I can't reach it. So she's like, can you use the floaty and just like kind of just sit on it? I'm like, all right, fine. My asshole's going to get so cold and I'm going to pucker <laughs> like a like a leather like you're like your ass just fucking ate a lemon you know oh my god yeah like you just sewed it shut right <laughs> <laughs> exactly. we both puckered our faces exactly. by the way exactly the so i i, I sit on the i sit on the, the floaty like it's like a donut type yeah and i like i i just i'm kind of like i guess i'm holding myself up too much so like the floaty goes underneath me and kind of behind me so i fall like i fall <laughs> face first into the lake and i'm like Did you take your shirt off yeah, I already have. I okay, got my shirt off just in case. And my, like, I okay. was just, I was, was ready say, to dive in in case dude, it happened. But it happened. If you kept your shirt happened. on, I would have to like. No, I wouldn't have. No, because I'm like, I didn't think you were this stupid. I would have sat with my ass in the the donut. Yeah, I would have yeah. got my shirt wet anyways, right? So I didn't have anything. I no, and I, I I did have my sunglasses on. I would have stood on, which the was annoying because one of the one of the ears was like, it got it was harder to move. I had to like it was, there was like some dirt in it or something. I don't know. It's fine now. But anyways, that was annoying. I was I was so rattled. I was like, man. How impressive this is not something I stood on wanted to do. Why did float it out? If Haley did, if somebody did that, that'd be like a ring. Super. I don't think that would support you. I think you'd. That's that. what I mean. Actually, but when I fell in, I kind of got up and I was like, there was like there was a rock that was literally a foot deep, so I could have just stood on the rock. And you'd have been totally and fine. Been, that would have been fine. And that's how I ended up getting it. So I'm like, all right, I can get it. I can just stand on this rock. That I could have gone just. Oh, I mean, like, I don't mind putting my feet in. That's nothing. I can just I can stand in water. That was a travesty. Oh, so because it's kind of weekend was fucked. This was not this past weekend. It was the weekend before. It was the same weekend you were gone. Oh wait, which is last weekend? Camping? No, no. Yeah, it was. Before. So yeah, it was the weekend. Remember the remember the Thursday you came to work? Yeah, but you went camping because you were yeah, gone yeah, yeah, that I went, weekend. I, I left yeah. that Sunday and yeah. came back that Wednesday, and yeah. then Thursday came to work. That's why I was yeah. there on Thursday. Yeah. I mean, that was Started first, at the same time. <laughs> yeah, that was my first day of the week. So. But yeah, it was just it was like, so like I guess it had been no no because it's been the weekend so it's been like I don't know about a week ago. Fuck when we were, when we went camp when we were camping that weekend we got hit by a fucking thunderstorm. I think it was oh. it, it was like I think what what did Daniel say? I think Daniel said it was like it was something like seven millimeters in within an hour in an hour span. Damn seven millimeters. It was fucking coming. 
But the joke is, is it don't rain when when we go camping, right? That's it, just a thing. It, it just don't rain. It don't rain. It just don't. It don't rain. It's because God, every it time rain. we go camping, or when my friends go camping, because sometimes they go without me. Yeah. It says it's gonna rain. Not every time, but whenever it does, it just doesn't rain. Yeah. Like they just don't get yeah. hit by the rain. Yeah. So this the whole joke was, yeah, it's not gonna do. It's not gonna rain this weekend. Like guys, come on, it's not gonna rain. Yeah. It's fucking Friday night it rained a little bit we're like oh, boy see it rain but it didn't rain Saturday morning well okay let's, let's fucking go boys and then Saturday night oh shit that was coming down I can't believe it it was like we we were all going crazy trying to fucking support the tarps and shit yeah because like but seven millimeters of rain in an hour is unbelievable it, it was coming fucking sideways and shit how do they calculate the millimeter thing like i don't know like there's not a layer of a seven millimeter deep oh water on the what ground they do. okay does that's it they do. how far they down they penetrate they put a cup outside and then in an hour and then in, they check how, in an hour yeah like whatever measuring system it is right maybe that could be it i don't know i just thought of maybe maybe it's how far down the ground is penetrated it could be who the fuck could knows? be I, that make should sense. we look it up or should we just not bother with that should, this all, should we just make this a mystery yeah. That will forever. Yeah, that's a mystery. Nobody will ever know. Someone, but, just like the end of my movie. No, I kind of want. I kind of want to know now. I was. Oh my I just, god! Could just I don't know. I, it's it like one here. of those. Actually, it's funny. Haley and I were talking about this the other day. Like, there's that that about that kind of like, if there's something that you know, someone doesn't want you to know, mm. then you just want to know it, even if it's like for your own good. Yeah, if you're a petty bitch. Yeah. Well, no, no. I'm just saying, right? Like, like if there's literally like, like, like. Say there's something that you don't like something someone that someone's saying like i know something right oh and you're, dude you're like the, don't press this button that's what i mean like thing. human beings have this have this like evolutionary way this this based on like you know, it's curiosity yeah, yeah exactly like yeah. they just have this desire the to know for knowledge it's, you, you know when 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 adam or sorry eve ate the fruit it's just what happened yeah like, that's, dude. that's what happens. knowledge baby yeah but okay if I can pull this up instead of looking at this shapuna filler that i've already proven you're wrong <laughs> shut your goddamn mouth how about the Canon filler slash? Probably, uh, probably, probably 44. You can add another 20% on that. That's my cock. Dumb bitch. That's easily like 70 right there. Yeah, but I w see, the thing is the mixed Canon filler, it's like arguably, okay, how much is it? If the if it's like fucking, if the show is 80% Canon and 20% filler, okay, you can't mark it off as a Canon. I mean, as a filler show episode. I don't know what it means to be Look, half Canon. Look, episode one through 19. You're telling me that's not Canon? When he comes back to the village, he just—I don't know—is it in—is it in the mega? I didn't, I didn't read that point. Oh. I don't know. So then that's that would be the, the ultimate factor. Maybe, but it's mixed, so that has to mean that there's some of it that's written in it, and some stuff that just added to the to the episode. I, to, to me, it's like add, adding something to the episode doesn't isn't isn't filler, I guess. Adding episodes to a show would be filler. Maybe. Right. Like how in the show Kakashi can use fire jutsus, even though in the manga he can't. Right, 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 right. right. It's not really filler. It was just added to the show, but it technically is filler, but it isn't. You know what I mean? Right. Okay, here. The measurement. In the United States, precipitation is commonly represented in inches per 24-hour period. This means that if one inch of rain fell in a 24-hour period and theoretically water wasn't absorbed by the ground... Oh, nor did it flow downhill after the storm there would be a layer of one inch of water covering the ground really so exactly what i said so, so it they literally put a cup out there and no, see no, how no. many millimeter, mill, millimeters maybe but that, that that's like that's like they're basically calculating if there was a sheer surface in the in the vicinity yeah, yeah, yeah. no it makes sense that's weird Imagine that. Imagine like you, like where it rained, it just it didn't flow anything outside of that, and then so the ground weird. was. Just, you basically lived on a sheer surface, so it just like would you're, you'd be like ankle deep in water sometimes, <laughs> or I guess not. I guess millimeters wouldn't be that bad. Yeah, crazy. Anyways, that is crazy. But it's also in the time frame, right? Normally, you get like what a millimeter an hour if it rains, three if it's like a heavy rainfall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So well, seven is no, but they they in the states they measure by inches and inches. Yeah, but that's twenty four hours though. Mine was seven millimeters in an hour. Oh, maybe that's what it is. Right, so it's tw seven mils times twenty four is a lot. It's more than an inch. Right, or just like total amount, right? Like yeah. If it's like an eighth of an inch of rain, is that any, you know, or or a quarter, a half inch of rain? Is that possible? It's possible. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Okay. 
That's possible. Anyways. Okay. Would you rather? Let's go. Oh. Okay. Hang on. I had so much stuff prepped for today. Yeah, I'm sure. Literally, this is this is. Oh, you, did you actually? Oh yeah. Oh shit. Look, I'll stream right here. Look. Oh, okay. <laughs> I told you. Slut. <laughs> That's funny. And this is. I just. I didn't realize. I didn't think three stories would take up an hour and twelve. Oh, it's, minutes. No, it's totally my fault. Why? Because I just fucking. That's fine. Yeah, I just spit. Yeah, but that's bad. I mean, yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. When you're like, oh, you talk so you fucking keep talking. Oh, like, yeah, dude. This is what the whole point. Yeah, because you talk too much. That's the whole you need point. To... Dog is the whole point. Okay, settle down. I had other things to talk oink, about too. Oink, but... oink. Okay. Can I say this one thing before we do this? Would you rather? What? I fucking hate when people have like quirks when they talk. Why? It's like, annoying. Like people say soy. Oh. Or or point. So speech impediments. Or, or but button. Speech impediments. Yeah. Like a lisp is okay. No, it's not. Hear me well, out. Maybe a bit. It's okay. Yeah. It would still annoy me. How why is a lisp okay, but those other things? No, are... no. Because it's like, okay, someone says button instead of button. Yeah. Or or, button. or instead of point, point, point. Like they put that p through their point through their, their <laughs> nose. Point. Yeah. Point. Or yeah, bagel. Or ba- okay, that's even worse. Oh my god, fucking bagel. Fucking Colosseum. I've never heard of that. Of course you haven't, because it's fucking retarded. Aluminium. Aluminium. I hate that coupon. one. Coupon. <laughs> fuck. Dude, coupon. So annoying. Yeah. I hate when people fucking. It just like just, just fuck, fuck you. Okay. Maybe I know you can't just, help it. It's probably a regional thing. Or just thing. roll your fucking R's. Okay. Unless, unless, unless you're foreign, and English is your second language. And you have an accent. That's totally okay. An accent is totally different. Oh yeah, an accent okay. is nice. But if you if you are over the age of five, and you say "sawi," I'm gonna slap you in the fucking mouth. <laughs> soy. How about soy? Soy is even worse. Soy. I soy. Soy. Dude, what? I soy. <laughs> yeah, I soy. You sound like a retard. No offense. It's all all joke. All jokes. Dude, pull your shorts down. Dude, it looks I'm like you're wearing underwear. Sliding dog. You just want your nuts on my couch, don't you? Dude, they're already on your couch, okay? There's a hole in the back. I'm gonna vomit. I'm kidding. Like, him's your big yeah, hole. Dude, fuck those people. Yeah. Okay, would you rather? Let's go. Hope it's not like those fucking easy ones. Would you rather mad. get would you rather get smacked in the head with a garden hose? One like, time. Like the bent part or the metal like end? Like the t- like exactly what we were talking about like two months ago. Okay, so the metal end. The metal end. Okay. Right? Get Is it a brass fitting? Yes. Okay. Brass fitting. So a little softer. Yeah. Or get shot in one knee. Garden hose to the head. Garden hose to the head. Hondo P. You're always Hondo P. You're always so certain. Whenever I give you, I know. Would you rather? You're always so certain of what you'll pick. You don't think like, oh, that's tough. There's never. No, I do. No, I have a couple times. I've been like, that's 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 that's. I'll I'll go. I don't know. I feel like everyone I've given you was always just no. Because I'm thinking like you. You gave me the question. It's like, okay, would you rather, right? The concept is, okay, which one, it's simple, right? Which one would you rather do? Which one's worse than the other one? Mm-hmm. So you give me one option. I go, okay, I'm already ranking this. I'm, it's already go, I'm already processing everything. And you give me the second one. Now it's just processing. It's all, and I got but, it. But you think, didn't you say that a garden hose, you think a garden hose could kill you? No. Didn't you say that? that? No, That's- no, no. A garden hose, no. Because one, the actual hose itself is way more flimsy. So you can't, you have less force. Yeah. And it's a brass fitting. So it would bend. It would dent. Okay. okay. Compared to what I was talking about was a a half inch thick steel. I mean, it's half inch thick. Uh, okay. What if it was a steel hose garden with hose? A, with a steel what about, uh, ending on it that has like reinforced for the for it being two and a half inches in the pressure? Like that's a heavy duty hose. I know. Okay. Okay. All right. Then what about a steel garden hose? Is it the same? Is it the same thickness, or would it be? Or would it be? Or would it be to scale? Like you wouldn't need to. Ha- you wouldn't have need the steel to be as thick as the brass because it's tougher, right? Yeah. That's so it'd be. I mean. So it'd be thinner. It's if you're the same. About, it's garden hose. So like whatever garden. Are you just exchanging the exact same size and weight? Yeah. Or not weight, but the exact same size. So the weight size would be different, shape. right? Yeah. Or shot in the knee. So here's the thing, though. 
Okay. You won't die from a shot in the knee. I won't. I, won't, I, I probably wouldn't get sh- die from a shot in the knee. Yeah. Okay. It would be unbelievably painful if you if you got medical help. Yes. It would be unbelievably painful. The thing is, with the garden hose of the steel thing, is if somebody was to like know what they're doing, you could you you could get killed by getting hit in the head with that. Like that's literally just a whip. That's just a chain whip. Yeah. That's right. What I mean. That's literally what it is. So would you still rather the knee <laughs> or the garden hose? Sorry. I not get medical. I get medical attention, right? You get medical attention for both. I would probably take the garden hose to the head. Yeah, because I think I think there's the the, the possibility of my skull caving in and doing severe brain trauma. Yeah, the percentage is low enough where I would take that chance over having to deal with the shot knee. Because you're if you get shot in the knee, like I'd be surprised if you could walk. You could ever walk like properly again. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's fucking. That's hard. Like the the, the getting hit in the knee. That's 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 terrible. Yeah. The garden hose thing. I mean, I've gotten hit in the head with with worse things, but it's like speed. But it's something knows what they're doing. Like you could, you'd probably get a, You'd probably uh, you'd probably crack your skull. I don't think it would indent, but I think it would crack a little bit. Yeah. It'd definitely split the skin, hundred percent. Yeah. You'd oh be, yeah. You you'd would be bleed. bleeding everywhere. You'd probably be unconscious. It might, you might crack. I don't think you would die though. You. The thing is, you might. Though. You might. Because it could, right it could just hit. It's not back of the head; it's side of the head. Yeah, it could just be side of the head. Yeah, side of the even the side of the head. Yeah, it could just be that you get hit right on the tip, right in the thickest, and all the weight hits you in the one spot, and it just you it just you've had past trauma or whatever, and it just dents it in, and you hit the brain. Now, even if you don't die, now you're gonna be a retard. You said retard twice. Yeah, I know. I'm on a rampage. <laughs> all right. What about what about if it was a 400 T hose? Versus shot in the knee. Shot in the knee, then? Probably. Prob- probably. Yeah, okay. Probably. Because that would that, be that's, fucking... That's the threshold. Anything less than that. Well, it has to... You, you, have, you have to look at it like the mass times the velocity. Right. Right? That's how much force you're taking into your skull. Now, do you think that your skull can handle that without doing damage to your brain? Or enough damage to your brain where you'd still be okay? Like, if yeah. I fucking did that and had memory loss, I'd rather not be able to walk on my left leg. Like, yeah, I can still walk, obviously. Mm. But, like, have a limp? I'd rather mm. have a limp than yeah. have memory loss. Right or like just or just forever having memory loss is even worse. Like for the rest of your life, you're gonna fucking have shit memory. That'd be terrible. Fair, All right? right? And that fart on your teeth will fuck you up, bro. Those things are heavy, man. Hundred OP. Heavy bastards. Oh yeah. All right, dude. Dude, it's good.